Meanwhile, we have been also looking at several other announcements there coming in. This regarding the latest advisory coming in from the Ministry of Home Affairs. Let me go across to my colleague Afrida for further understanding on this. Good morning, Afrida. Over to you. If you can take us through the latest advisory there coming in from the Ministry of Home Affairs. Good morning. Uh, basically, yes, the idea is to now smoothen out the supply chain because remember, we have been reporting about certain bottlenecks, certain wrinkles that need to be ironed out. So the Ministry of Home Affairs is taking stock of the issues and on a day to day basis, trying to clear out the roadblocks. So here are some more exceptions to uh, the those who have to follow lockdown, who all are except uh, are exempted rather from following lockdown. Suppliers of essential goods, they do not have to follow the strict lockdown orders. They can operate so that people can access those essential goods. Restaurants supplying home delivery. Remember, there's been a lot of confusion about whether home deliveries are allowed or not. Certain states like Tamil Nadu had taken individual decisions not to allow uh, home deliveries. So those uh, cases aside, from the Ministry of Home Affairs, the directive is home delivery of food must be allowed. Remember, there could be an elderly couple who cannot step out. They need this service and therefore that's been made clear. Go downs of essential goods, drivers, loaders for essential goods. Now, it's not just enough to say go downs will be operating. They have also, the ministry uh, directive has specified people who are loading stuff. Yesterday, we reported how the APMC market had to close down because loading was not happening, manpower was not available. Now this clarity coming in that all those who are operating to load those trucks, those uh, trucks that carry essential goods are allowed to operate. They should not be stopped. Manufacturing units of medical goods, employees of supply chains, all these people who are employed with supply chain, including, of course, those manufacturing units of medical goods. Extremely important because right now we are at a stage of strengthening the medical infrastructure. So those manufacturing units that operate to produce medical goods must be up and running. All those uh, units have been now added to the exempted list. Back to you.